Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Tutorial Channel. All right, um, this time around, I want to show you guys the latest release from EGT and Kaido House. Um, in the background here, you can see I have a little something, a little teaser for my next video. That's actually the top release drop as well. So do stay tuned. Um, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Okay, uh, straight to the point. So two new Kaido House this time around. Um, two new variant, not the new casting. The I'm opening now is the uh, the Fair Lady HKS. This is something that <coughs> quite a lot of people has been anticipating. Okay, finally it's out. I really like the HKS color. HKS Super Oil is an inner box. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get it out. Um, HKS color. Oh no, I can't recall right now. How many are there? Is this the first one? Ooh, for Kaido House. Is this the first one? I believe that's an R33. Um, but is that out yet? That's not out yet. Oh, this is very nice. This is actually very, very nice. Very nice casting to, to choose to do this HKS as well. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Of course, scale wise, well, Kaido House is it. It has its own scale. <laughs> okay, it is not exactly a true 64. Um, but oh, parking it next to the next to the rest of the fair ladies, this is very, very nice. Love the HKS color. Love the HKS wrap on this. So this is actually Kaido House number 118, already. Comfortably into the hundreds. Nice, and there is quite a bit of a hype for this Kaido House items recently. So, I do strongly encourage you guys to do a pre-order, okay? Rather than wait for the ready stocks. Let me know. Let me know how is it going in your in your uh region, okay? Because I do know, I'm based in Malaysia, so what's going on in Malaysia right now is as soon as they're out, the prices go up quite crazily, okay? So, <laughs> I do strongly encourage everyone to to place your pre-orders because um recently okay the recent months well the past a year plus um we seldom we do seldom get stock issues okay we place order how many how many we place order and that's how many um we are able to get so yeah it's better to place your pre-orders okay so i do pre-orders as well um i will put the link to my pre-order group in the description below okay and my ready store items are handled by cube Collectors Cube, it's actually a consignment shop in Malaysia. And they do ship international. Okay, so I'm going to show you the next one. This is actually very nice. I love that green headlamps. All the little details. The interior also, see? The back here is purple roll cage with the green um, area at the back. Okay, that's a grey dashboard. Very nice red color windscreen sticker. Nice, very nice. Let me see if I can open up the engine for you to see. Because I know these fair lady ones are usually a little bit tight. <laughs> and I usually need to get my screwdriver to push it out. Okay. Oh, no, that's stuck this time. Yeah, it's again stuck. I need to go and grab my screwdriver a little later. I'll come back. Ah, there you go. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the Fair Lady Z. And I do have the Chase version already out. Here you go. So all the black parts, right, is now unpainted. So I guess that's, it's not a full wrap. The base color is black. <coughs> and then it has that um, green, purple, red as a wrap. Nice, very nice. This is actually a very nice, very, very nice chase. I like how they use the black rims. Okay, how they use these rims. Not exactly a new design. Um, and it's in black now. Very nice. Okay, so that's the chase. And then next I want to show you would be the NSX. Okay, Kaido House. Um, number 119, NSX Kaido Racing version 1. 
Okay, while I get this out, right, help me to hit the like button because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms, okay? So, yeah, if you do follow my channel, right, you do notice that this is a style that I do right now, the drop episodes, okay? I'll do um, a whole group of them together as soon as they drop. Kairos Honda VTEC, very nice. Love that they use the VTEC name here. Okay, let's get it out in orange. How many now? That's quite a few already of these uh, NSX. The first one is still <laughs> something that I will, I will remember for some time. The red color version, right? During pre-orders, it was only okay. <laughs> the pre-order numbers was only okay. It's not like really crazy numbers. Um, but when it was out, yeah, people went crazy about it. Uh, I did I did a live unboxing session over at uh, Collector's Cube on their TikTok, and the very next day, because the way the way Cube does right, there will be some allocated for online on their web store, and there will be some allocated for their walk-in regulars. So what happened was the online um, platforms for Cube was sold out, so the only ones available was um, walk-in. Okay, so what happened is people actually show up early in the morning. About two hours before the shop opened. And uh, when I came in, I saw them. I'm like, um, yeah, you guys know what time the shop opens, right? And they 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 replied, yeah, we know. We just don't want to miss um, <laughs> the NSX. That was, yeah. There was a, a little queue in front of the shop by the time uh, queue was open at 12 p.m. on that weekday. Yeah, it was a weekday. So this NSX really is, um, yeah, this NSX casting is really very likable. Oh, love the combination with the rims. Okay, and this one has that opening rear engine cover. So the only thing about this opening engine cover, right, that second cover, that's loose. And usually the ones that I get, even this outer cover, it's usually loose, it won't stand up, but uh, this time around, it, it's standing up. So I do wonder if this is a one-time off or it just so happened that this one is tighter than the rest that I've got before. So I'll carry on to monitor for you guys. Okay, so apart from the opening engine compartment, there is a switch down here that you can switch on the lights. There you go. Okay. Very nice. I, I'm losing count of how many um, variants are for this these Kaido House releases because there is quite a few. There's Black Limited, there's Limited Edition, and then oh, there's just so many different versions of their Limited Edition. So yeah, there's just so many of them that... And I'm taking care of quite a few brands. Hence, I've lost count. <laughs> okay? Right. There you go. So that's Kaido House Orange, number 119, And uh, the next one I will show you would be the Chase version. Raw body with the orange color fender. So this actually shows you which are the separate parts. <laughs> okay. So the orange is separate. The, the orange uh, spoiler, that's a separate piece. The fender on four sides, even the pop-up lamp. Okay, it's all separate piece. The side mirror as well. Okay, so this quite easy to identify which are the separate pieces. So this diffuser down here, this um, splitter in black, that's a separate piece as well. Actually, the tail lights is done very nicely. I really like how Kaido House has pulled off um, this tail light physically. Okay. Nice. Let's see if I can just open it up. Is it loose? No, it's yeah, okay, I cut it up. Oh, okay, it holds. Yeah, again, it holds. So it's probably the inner cover that's still... Yeah, even the inner cover is still a little bit it's tight. Let's see if I can get it out. No, I can't. Let's see. There we go. A little sneak peek of the engine. Okay, so yeah, even the engine is done properly. Okay, they didn't they didn't just shortcut it and just 
leave everything in black. Nice. Okay, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's a two new Kaido house. And uh, I want to show you four new Mini GTs. I'm just going to zoom out and do a quick look at them. There's the Lincoln uh, Capri, hot rod in purple metallic. And then there is the Porsche 901 1963. This will be the third variant, the cream, white, and the green. And then there's a Ford GT. It's a prototype heritage edition. And another IMSA release. No, is this IMSA release? No, this is Le Mans. 2023 Le Mans 24 hours Cadillac V-Series Action Express Racing. Okay, so let's get this one out first. So this is not an IMSA version. This is actually a Le Mans version. Oh, okay. It does have that Le Mans emblem at the back here. So scan for more. Um, yeah, I, yeah I'm not, I don't have my spare phone with me right here. Uh, mistake. It's a little bit far away from me now, so I may not do this. Do it this time. I'll do it another time. I'll probably do it during the live session. So you would notice that these mini GTs they are not out of the box yet, right? Um, they arrived over the weekend. That's about four days ago, and only now I managed to set aside time to actually do this uh, video. Hence, they're still in the boxes. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. This Mini GT number 736 Le Mans series. Okay, not from the IMSA series. So the, Le the IMSA series will have will have the IMSA logo on the box. This one is from the Le Mans series. So no logo on the box. So Cadillac V series, I if I'm not mistaken, this would be the third one. Okay, this would be the third release in red and black i really like they always have this gradient um paint job for the real car and it's replicated in the 64 scale that's actually very nice okay i really like the headlamps are a separate piece looks so realistic okay i'm gonna move on to next um the ford gt mini uh mini gt number 622 the 1964 prototype heritage edition and i will like to apologize i did not do much research so i don't know what's the story behind the prototype heritage edition okay if you do know let me know in the comment section below okay here we go it's in cream white with the black stripe and that's not a carbon fiber frunk Okay, that's a matte black uh, front front trunk. And if I recall correctly, there's barely any space to store anything in this Ford GT. Again, quite a few Ford GTs this time around. In the last release, there was the uh, Sonoko Ford GT and also the Ford GT Ray, uh, Le Mans box set. Those are actually really very nice. What do you think about the box sets? I, I really like the Ford GT box sets. That's actually the second time Mini GT has done a Ford GT box set. Okay, so that's Heritage. 1964 prototype. Okay, with the Ford logo down there, very nice. Okay, you can see a little bit of the engine. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next item. I wanna open up the Porsche. Mini GT number 707. Porsche 901 1963 in, uh, it's not blue, it's quick blau, in quick blau. Third uh, color of this casting. I remember the first two, the green and the cream. It has a little bit of difference as well between the two. I can't recall right now what were the difference. Okay, but uh, let's just quickly open this up. That, that I can show you guys and you guys can decide whether you should get it or not. In my mind, if you're a Porsche collector, especially for Mini GT, I think you should get it. Okay, because overall, overall build of the cars that uh, Mini GT has been doing so far is pretty decent. Okay, given this price as well. It's half the price of um, Eno, um, even from the tarmac 
global series, right? If you compare it, yeah, which is similar level of details, which would be the global series. Even the global series is priced higher. But I do suspect there is a possibility the global series has a couple more parts, individual parts compared to mini GTs. But it's quite comparable. And I am quite glad that Tarmac Global Series and Mini GT has been doing quite different cars. So yeah, I do appreciate that. Okay, 1963 Porsche. The classic Porsche. Okay, side mirror, yes, indeed, only on one side. Okay, I really like the way they do the headlamps. Not just a printing, but uh, an actual separate piece. Okay, that's the Porsche. I'm going to park it at the back. It's really very small. Um, so I guess it's two portion because the real car is actually really very small as well. Okay, um, Mini GT number 757, the Lincoln Capri. Hot Rod 1954 in purple metallic. So, yeah, during pre-order, I just made an assumption. During pre-order, right, I thought the color is called Hot Rod. I, I didn't really pay much attention to it, so I thought the color is called Hot Rod. But uh, no, this is actually the Hot Rod version. And uh, let me know if you know what's the difference between the normal Lincoln Capri and this Hot Rod version. Okay, so I believe... There should be some differences that I should look out for. Oh, okay. The first thing I notice is that, that it, does, it doesn't have that trim, that, that metallic thing in front. I guess hot rod, the hot rod version, probably higher power, uh, higher uh, horsepower, um, what else, more, more lightweight. Because ha not having that probably save a little bit of weight. I think the front bumper does look different from the previous version. Okay, from the previous ones. Ah, this is nice. Okay, so that kind of makes sense that this is actually the hot rod version. I like the front bumper, the chrome bumper. Nice. Nice. It's actually, yeah, see-through. So you can actually see a little bit of the purple chassis at the back okay the headlamps check that out i think that line that silver color line it's printed not a physical thing but a uh, good try does look quite good oh massive side view oh side exiting exhaust <laughs> nice nice Okay, if we go to the back. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, so that's a hot rod. Right. So four new four new variants. Um not no new casting this time around from this this release. Two Kylo House, Nanasex and Fair Lady, four mini GTs, new variants. Um so that's it for this time around. I we are we do we did get a list of the things that's arriving soon um so do follow all of our social media platform um i will i do post up i do post up incoming stuff uh, a little bit more frequently so do follow my page as well i'm trying to get a little bit more active on my facebook and instagram okay for do, you guys who have been following me i think you guys notice this this platform of mine the instagram and the facebook has been away for a good four years five years if not four five years so Yes, I am back. Um, so do give me a follow okay, on my uh, social media platforms. And there are a couple of these still available. The extras, okay? Do look for Cube. Pre-orders handled by me. Um, they are a consignment shop in Malaysia. Pre-orders handled by me. All my ready stock items are handled by them. So if you want to check stock availability, check with them. Because um, at, on this Cube's platform, right, there's m easily more than 20 different sellers easily more than 20 different sellers. Some of them are full-time sellers. Some of them are actually part-time sellers. So you, if you want to find <laughs> older stuff, you can get in touch with them as well. Okay. Quick preview of my next video. Two new pop race arrival. Okay. I'm hoping to actually do this review together with the uh, Yaris, GR Yaris 
ev uh, the Evangelion version, the event version. Okay, that is supposed to drop soon. Hopefully, sooner than later. Um, so, in the meantime, oh, just a preview. Yes, I will be doing, I do have the Mini GT Valkyrie in my hand. Okay, together with the Pop Race one. So, I do hope to do a comparison video as well. So, do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that I don't miss on my comparison video. Hit the like button because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. That's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.